Okay, I'll wait a little bit longer. Hi, Benjamin. Guys, keep your microphones off. I don't know who that is, but you guys gotta keep your microphones off. Hold on, maybe I can increase my tile size so I can maybe see who it could be. All right, I couldn't figure out who it was. Okay, so let's start off with your workbook. Let's open it up. We did texture last time, so if I just flip the paper over, it's shapes. So let's talk about this page right here. I'll wait a couple more seconds so you guys can find this page. It's shapes, and on the opposite side of that, you should have a blank sheet of paper. We will be working on this side, but you'll be needing this side right here for right now. All right, and again, if you don't have this workbook, blank sheet of paper, because it's possible to do it with this. All right, so let's start off by reading what it says. I'm going to turn off chat. Sorry, guys. There's too much uh, chit chat going on over there. All right, it says, I can learn shapes. Shapes are created when a line connects two ends together. It's an enclosed space. There are two categories of shapes. There's geometric and organic. So this top section right here are all types of geometric shapes, such as circles, trapezoids, hearts, pentagons, rectangles, ovals, moon, and so on. But down here, these are organic, freeform, and natural shapes, such as a cloud, a leaf, could be like a game controller or like something else. Be kind of cool, but those are called organic shapes when they don't have a specific name to them. So what you're gonna do, if you have this sheet right here, so if you just take your packet and you just slide it over or flip it over to the other side, it should look something like this. Or if you just have a blank sheet of paper, you can just do what I'm about to do on this side, okay? So if step number one, with your writing utensil, I want you guys to divide the paper in half. Here I go. Just like that. Just draw a line right around the middle. Uh, diagonal, sorry, not diagonally, uh, across. So like left to right. Just divide the paper in half. All right, on the on the top end, I want you guys to draw a couple things. I'll show you guys what to draw. Here we go. On the very top left-hand corner, we're gonna draw a triangle. Make sure you have enough space for one, two, three, four, five shapes on this section right here. And again, it doesn't have to be marker. It could be anything you have. It could be a pencil, it could be crayon. All right, and then I'm gonna draw another triangle below that. Let's draw another triangle below that. Evie, do you have a question? Everybody's frozen but you. Really? Uh, yeah. Just pin me. Uh, I'm going to be the only one that you need to see anyways. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. Use captions. Guys, uh, let's just pay attention real quick. Next step, I want you guys to draw a square. I have captions so, open. All right, guys, I need to teach. No more talking. All right, so the middle top one is going to be a square. Okay. And and then the bottom over here, right here, is going to be another square. Just like that. Okay. All right, our last two shapes, it's just going to be two ovals. So one oval right here, and then another oval right here. And the way the oval goes is up and down. Notice how my ovals are not side to side. All right, so now we did a total of six shapes. Three of them are going to be different from the other ones. All right, that's the reason why we did doubles of all these shapes. All right, so now I'm going to switch colors just so you guys can see what's going to happen. All right, here I go. So let's start off with a triangle first. This triangle is a triangle, but this triangle right here, we're going to turn it to a completely different shape. Follow my directions. Here I go. On the bottom right-hand corner of this triangle, you're going to create a small diagonal line, just like this. Small diagonal line. I'm going to zoom in by bringing my paper a little bit closer so you guys can see. I did a small diagonal line going up. It's going to be a pyramid. That's correct. Well, let's not call out next time, though. 
again, just make sure you guys raise your hand. No more unmuting, guys. All right. Next step, you're going to connect this short diagonal line, and it's going to connect it to the top of this triangle. Good job. All right. Now, I was going to ask a question, but we all know what it is now. It's a pyramid. Good job. So this was a triangle. This is now a pyramid now. All right, this next one, what we're going to do is we'll return the square into something completely different. Let's not call out, though. So again, we're going to go from this top left-hand corner, this top right-hand corner, and this bottom right-hand corner. We're going to create a diagonal line, just like how we do with the triangle, but instead, we're going to do it on these three points instead, just like that. I'm going to zoom in again. You know what it is, don't call it out. Okay. And then once you're doing those three diagonal lines, I want you guys to connect them together. Just like so. Now they're connected. Can anyone tell me by raising their hand? This is a square, but what's this shape now? Anyone know? Gabriella? A cube. Good job. All right, this last one. There's going to be a top of the oval and then the bottom of the oval. What you're going to do is you're just going to draw a straight line going horizontal, meaning across. So one right there, and then another one on the bottom. Just like that. Now, before we connect it together, there's a specific way how you do it. If you look where they connect, and look at the closest one to the edge going this way, you can see that the curve is this direction like this. So you want to make sure you don't curve it this way. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect them by curving it this direction like that. Now, just like how we can see this page right here, try to figure out what shape it could be just by looking at these examples. So over here, you, can saw, the, you saw the pyramid. Over here, you saw the cube. What could this shape be? Anyone know? Raise your hand and you can tell me. Anyone? I'm going to pick Alyssa. What shape could this be? Alyssa? I forgot. That's OK. Anyone want to help her out? London? A cylinder? That's correct. It's a cylinder. That was a hard one. So now you guys know how to draw a pyramid, cube, and a cylinder. And these can also be used in everyday drawing, such as like a can, Minecraft Steve or something, and just a regular pyramid, I guess. All right. For the bottom I section. I know how to draw a cube. I have drawn Minecraft characters before. Okay. That's great. Uh, so what we're going to do down here is we're going to draw four different spaces. In order to do that, I'm going to take a ring utensil. And all you're going to do is divide it in half down like this. And then I'm going to divide it again across. So now I should have four divided sections. One, two, three, four, just like that. All right? OK, we just talked about geometric shapes, and we did some examples. The next thing we need to talk about is organic, freeform, and natural shapes. So using these examples down here and using the ideas of what's not up here, who could tell me an example of an organic shape? It could be something video game related, TV related. It can be real life related or something that you've seen. What's an organic shape that's not a geometric shape? Anyone know? There's a lot of examples. I'm going to pick Merrick. Give me one organic sheet. I know what it's called, but I can't say it. It's like a square. A cube? A square. A cube? A square. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, a square and a cube are both geometric shapes. Anyone want to help Merrick? What could be an example of an organic shape? Anyone? I'm going to pick Gabriella. Gabriella? 
A heart? Uh, that's a very good guess. But if I look at the geometric examples uh, over here, it's an example of a geometric shape. So a heart is close, but not quite. Here, I'll do the first one for you guys. I think people are having a little bit of trouble. So my first organic shape is going to be a game controller. So if I go like this, draw a straight line, I curve on the bottom and connect on the top, there's no name for that in the geometric world. So I can't call it a rectangle. I can't call it a rhombus. It's its own shape. So that's why it's considered an organic shape. If I started doing the buttons in the inside and the analog sticks in the inside, I can't do that because those are called circles. But I was able to do the outside of the game controller because it's me. an organic shape. I know one. Anyone want to give me another one? Me. Uh, Ellie, give me an organic shape. A pencil. Good job. It's kind of like a triangle and a rectangle put together, but since it's together, it's its own shape. So there, I drew. Uh, I know one. I know one. All right, I pick people that are raising their hands. You guys know that. You've had me since kindergarten. All right, Abby, give me another organic shape. Um, a tape thing. A tape. Okay. Thing? All right, a tape dispenser. I'm gonna try to copy that. Let's see. It looks like this. There we go. It's that's correct. Yeah, tape dispenser could be an organic shape. Also, clouds are organic shapes. Leaves are organic shapes. Who can give our last one though? Anyone? I'm gonna pick Khalil. Cloud. Okay. It was one of the examples on the other side, but doesn't mean that we can't use it. Cloud. Someone's gonna draw random clouds on this side. If you guys picked other different shapes than me, that's great. I was gonna call in more volunteers to tell me what they did, but we're running out of time. So what I want you guys to do is if you guys want to hold yours up to the camera, I could see it. And with that said, I'm gonna stop my recording.